I have everything set up right here. Um, for sure, use gloves because all of these are like super cancerous. Proposition 65 on all of them. Especially this one because this one is going to like... Especially this one because this one is going to clog your pores and you don't want that. Especially you don't want it clogging up for a couple years. So I kind of have it laid out on my bed. Um, what we're going to do first. So we're going to do this one which is the Atom Surface Prep. This one we're just going to spray on the carbon fiber hood. And it comes with a little spray nozzle. Oh, it has a little lock mechanism right now. Then we're going to move on to the actual like graphite ceramic coating which we're just going to do a couple applications and I did get the kit I did get the graphic kit just because I wanted it to come with the little sponges the microfiber towels and then this towel to remove the um, the actual coating it comes with two of these and this is like a one time use only type of thing so if you guys are going to try to like stretch it out maybe you won't do the whole car which that's what i'm gonna do i'm only gonna do the carbon fiber hood and then maybe throughout the week go and do like the rest of the car i would recommend maybe just trying to like just use one little area just so like you know you can never use this area again but you could do like some of the other areas and right off the bat this area is useless they could have done a better job maybe just sealing in the corner just so you could have this spot too Otherwise, you only have five areas to work on and the side ones I wouldn't really recommend so pretty much just kind of like three areas So remember one time use only And then this is gonna be the I guess promoter or booster ceramic booster This one you're gonna apply Or for me, I'm gonna apply a couple hours later. I'm gonna go to work later So probably I'll do the ceramic coating right now let it sit for a couple hours and then come back at night around eight o'clock nine o'clock and then use a promoter or booster just to kind of make sure everything's good and then we're gonna use then we're gonna use a towel to wipe this off once it starts to rainbow and this is gonna be just to clean up the microfiber towel in the beginning in case there's any like debris and stuff which there might be like a little bit of dust and they did provide some really cheap um, gloves but they'll do the job as long as there's no holes or anything so so yeah I, I do love the bottle it's like glass and everything I, I have seen some cases where like they come in broken but luckily mine didn't come in broken okay so I got the carbon fiber hood and I'm using these little like foam things I came when I got it like delivered to my house um, pretty much I'm putting it in the bottom of it so it could be elevated okay so step one get like a flashlight or you can just grab your phone put it like to the highest setting and then just kind of inspect the whatever part you're going to be using the ceramic coat on I'm only going to be using it on this carbon fiber Sybin TS hood for my BRZ really love this microfiber towel it's like black and white that's like my theme for my car right now so it's very plushy and it feels like it's really good quality we're gonna be we're gonna be looking for like any dust or debris that's gone on the carbon fiber hood which there has been I don't know if you guys can see but there's like little strands of um, pretty much like cardboard like little strands of little cardboard from the shipping boxes that's normal all you need to do is just kind of wipe it off with the microfiber towel so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and do the whole hood and I don't know if you can see but there is a couple of debris it's like just little strands of like I don't know what it is little fabrics or something now we just got done with this step so let's move on to the next step which is using the surface prep I didn't really have to clean the hood since it is brand new so all I need to do is just do the surface prep before I go ahead and do the graphite ceramic coating with this one we're just gonna spray a couple times then we're gonna wipe it off okay 
So remember that we're gonna spray the entire thing. So try to get every little corner, every little, like, since it's gonna have this like little scoop design, we're gonna try to do every little crevice from the car fiber folding in and do the corners as well. So make sure that you apply everywhere because it is pretty much like primer for this um, ceramic coat. So just make sure that you apply it everywhere. You can never use too much, but you can always use a little bit or something like that. I don't know what the expression is, but let's get to it. And I forgot to mention, but remember to try to like be in an open ventilated area. Maybe open up your windows, your doors, if you are going to do it inside. Just because it, I didn't know it was going to be this harsh of a smell. Now we're going to go with this. So remember, we're going to go crisscross pattern. Down, down, and then side, side. We're not going to do swirls. Just up and down, side to side. And based off what my friend said, I think it's only good for like two months after you open the bottle. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna test it out. Um, but once you open the bottle, always make sure when you're not using it, seal it back up just so it doesn't crystallize on the top. This thing was like a hundred bucks, so. Well, the whole kit was like a hundred bucks. I think the bottle itself was like 70, 80 bucks. Um, so yeah, we don't, wanna go, we don't want to go, we don't want this to go to waste, right? And I can tell if it's leaking or just the inside. Uh, whatever. So let's open it up. And then we're going to apply it to, I guess, the seam side back. And we're going to apply it right here. And then we're going to do a half the hood. And then move on to the other hood. I mean, the other half of the hood. Once we start seeing to rainbow. And then once it starts to rainbow, we're going to use this uh, felt towel. I think that's what it's called. And we're gonna wipe it off. I guess you can't use a microfiber towel because this one's supposed to like remove the material a lot better. Maybe they're just marketing, I don't know. But let's open it up. Okay, I'm kind of having trouble opening it up. Oh, there we go. And there we go. Just put the thing over there. Now we're gonna apply it. So just do, you know, be generous. You're gonna have to use the whole thing. So just apply it. Like that. And then Make sure you close the bottle, and then now we're gonna apply it like that, up and down. So just give it a little bit of time to cure. You're gonna start seeing it, seeing it rainbow a little bit. Just give it a couple extra seconds. Then we're gonna wipe it off. It is kind of rainbowing already. I don't know if you guys could tell on camera. But yeah. And I feel like it should be good to go. So let's start wiping it.
camera around, but I cleaned it off and it's perfect now. So I'm gonna do the other side. I'm not gonna bore you guys with that side. It's just literally just applying, wiping, and we should be good. I already prepped it, so I just need to apply it, wait for it to cure, and then wipe it off. This is what's left of the bottle. There's still a lot, like look at that. And I actually did two coats. You're not supposed to do more than one coat because it doesn't really make a difference. But, but I did notice that around the edges, the first time I did, I forgot to actually cover on the edges. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go back. Let me just go back and do a second coat. It does look a lot brighter. And yeah, now let's let it cure for an hour. Instruction says 24 hours, but you know, I like to live on the edge a little bit. I'm only gonna let it cure for an hour or two while I take off my OEM hood. And then I'm gonna put this one on. So for you guys, it's gonna be like that, a couple seconds. For me, I gotta go take out the hood and film that. So yeah, see you guys in a bit. So before I put the booster, I just wanted to show you guys the hood. I just finished washing the car and then I gave the hood 24 hours for it to pretty much just like settle in. Um, I did put it like an hour or two after I, I put the ceramic coating, but I wanted it to cure in the sun. Um, and then I worked like right after, so that's why it's like the next day right now. But I'm gonna apply the booster and then I'm gonna include a clip of me washing the car. All I did was use the gold Meguiar's um, soap. So you're gonna see the beating action from just a ceramic coating. And then I'm gonna do a one week update, a month update, and then a few, few month updates.